Hi, I'm Adam Kolb, and you're at BeatsCast. Let's measure PHP code quality using static analysis with PHP Stan. Stick around and we'll get right on that. Welcome back. I think many of us probably use some sort of code analysis to figure out the quality of our code. One of the biggest ways that most folks use is static analysis to statically analyze the code without even running it. And how do we do that? We do that by sniffing the code. So there is a common terminology around clean code and around good coding practices that is referred to as code smells. So if your code smells of certain spoilage, then perhaps there are other bugs, perhaps there are more errors and things that could be cleaned up to make cleaner code. So code smells is a common terminology used to figure this out. Think of it in terms of food. If you can smell something and it smells kind of spoiled, chances are there may be something to pay attention to. Doesn't mean that it is spoiled, it just means that it may have some issues. And code can be much the same way. Now, just because there's a code smell doesn't mean that the code is bad. It doesn't mean that the code even needs changed. But common smells in our code can indicate that it might be a good time to refactor or something might be a good item to refactor. And it can point us in the right direction to clean up our code. Static analysis is a great way to do that. The application doesn't need to be in a running state. It doesn't need to run at all. The static analysis tools can look at the code and determine based on some various rule sets whether the code is up to standard or not. For PHP applications, a relatively new tool to help us do this is PHP Stan. So that's what I'm going to talk about here is using PHP Stan to do static analysis of PHP code. I'd like to take a moment to introduce the sponsor for this video, Cloudways. Cloudways allows you to focus on your business and avoid web hosting hassles. Go live in minutes by selecting your application, selecting the vendor your server should be housed with, then select the server size for your chosen provider, and you're ready. Please use the affiliate link in the description below to support the BeachCast channel and to claim your one month of free hosting. The discount code BEACHCASTS will be automatically applied to your signup. Even if you don't program in PHP, there are other tools within other programming languages that do similar things, static code analysis. So again, let's take a look at PHP Stan and how we can use it to analyze our PHP code. I'm going to show you a little bit about PHP Stan, but you'll want to stick around till the end of the video because I've got a special bonus for you and a way to make this so much easier for you to use PHP Stan. So stick around till the end to see that. So as I said, PHP Stan is a relatively new tool in the PHP ecosystem, and it does a really fine job of static analysis. Uh, the website for PHP Stan is phpstan.org. It is a freely available application for doing what I'm going to show you. Here on the main page, for instance, we can see a good example where it's uh, doing some analysis based on just these nine lines of code, and it comes back with a couple of errors highlighting potential factors. It didn't need to run the code to do this. It was able to analyze based on rules to determine if there was something inside the code that needed to be looked at. Okay, so to get started, if we go to the uh, PHP Stan getting started, we can see here that in order to install PHP Stan in our current project, we would just issue the command composer require hyphen hyphen dev PHP Stan slash PHP Stan. Now, the reason we're putting the hyphen hyphen dev here is because we don't want to really want to run PHP Stan in production. It's something that should be run in development to be able to do static analysis on your code. It's not something you really want to run on your production web servers. So that's why we're adding the dev uh, flag to the require. Now I have an application here and, uh, and it's S3 log analyzer, an application that I've had for a very long time. And, and in here, if I look at the files, we can see that it's just a standard PHP project. 
So I'm going to install the PHP stand as we saw in the documentation. So I'm going to issue the command composer require hyphen hyphen dev and we're going to put in php stand slash php stand and so now it's going to install php stand in this current application okay so now that that's completed the install let me go ahead and clear my screen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run PHP stand. Now in the documentation, we can see that after it's installed, we can issue a command similar to vendor bin PHP stand because Composer adds an executable in the, the vendor bin location uh, called PHP stand. And the command itself to have PHP stand initiate is analyze. Uh, now, in this in this command I'm highlighting on my screen here, we can see that it's analyzing a source directory and the tests directory. Now, in, in my application, if we look here, I do have a source directory, SRC, and that's where the application exists for this application. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. I'm going to issue vendor bin uh, PHP stand. Yep, PHP stan and issue the command analyze. And we want to do analyze in the source directory. Right now it's traversing that directory to see how many PHP files exist so that it knows which ones to do the analysis on. It's found 14 files and now it's going to start going through those 14 files and running the analysis that we requested. Okay, after it finishes running, it has reported back that it found four errors in the application. And it lists exactly what those are and, and what might be needed to do to mediate those. And there's a link to learn more on the phpstand.org site. Now, at this time, because I ran PHP Stand straight out of the gate, I didn't give it a level to use. It uses level zero by default. Level zero is the easiest level of PHP stand. And even on the easiest level, it did find four errors in my code. And I could I could go through and fix all these. And then if I wanted to, I would rerun PHP stand as level one and then level two, level three, level four, and progressively increase the, the level of PHP stand so it finds more things up to level eight. We can do that by taking the same command that I ran before. If I use the same command, vendor bin, vendor slash bin slash PHP stand, analyze and give it the directory of source SRC. What I can do is I can put in a flag here for L and put in, for instance, level eight. And again, I could go zero through eight. Uh, for the various levels and I'm telling it to do it in a source directory and that's how I would set the That's how I would set it to do the level of difficulty that it uses in order to do the testing Right now it is outputting the results to my terminal if instead I wanted to Put those results into a file for later use I could just send them out to a file. We'll call it file result .txt. And if I hit enter there, it would run this command and save the results in a file called result.txt. If you run into a situation, PHP stand may tell you, hey, I'm not able to run, I don't have enough memory to do that. You might need to go into your PHP INI and change that setting to allow more RAM for PHP. So just keep that in mind. Another thing that we can do is we can change the output format that PHP stand gives us the report. And in, in here, we can see that there's a table, there's raw, there's check style, JSON, there's pretty JSON. And then there's some others down here as well, if you have a need for a different output format. Now, by default, it's outputting table, but you could have it output JSON if you wanted to. Maybe you want to catch the JSON and insert it into a database, what have you. Um, you know, you can do that. And we do that by passing the hyphen hyphen error hyphen format and equals, and then you just put the name that you want. So let's take a look at that. So if I take this command that I've already been working with here, and uh, after I define the level, maybe I want to put in um, this error format, 
and put the error format equal to table. Now table, keep in mind, table is the default, so I'm not really making a change here. I could put it to, instead of table, I could put pretty JSON, and then it would output JSON to the file result.txt. I'm going to go ahead and keep it as table for now. I'm gonna go ahead and initiate this now. And after it's completed, I can look at that file result.txt and we can see that we get tables full of results here uh, and, and it's outputting all this based on a level eight. Now this isn't too bad, not too many errors. There's only 31 errors in this small application of 14 files. This application is very old and it doesn't include a lot of types. And, and the PHP stand does pay attention to types. It is modern PHP. It's looking for modern PHP. Now, I told you at the beginning that I was gonna have a special bonus for you toward the end of the video, and that's this. I've created a container out here, or an image out here on Docker Hub called PHP Code Quality. You can see that I've created an image here, and this includes a lot of uh, a code analysis tools for PHP. It makes it so much easier to be able to use these. There's also documentation down here, detailed documentation of how to use this image. As an example, if I scroll down here to the PHP stand section, you can see I've got the regular Docker command here to build the container using this image. And then after that, I've got the PHP command calling up PHP stand, telling it to run analyze with level zero to, and outputting a table format to a specific file. So as this runs, it runs it inside the container, but analyzing the code that is in the current working directory when you're using this via the command line and it outputs the result file. And then the container is deleted afterwards. It just makes it so handy to use. There's a lot more tools here to use, by the way, uh, because this container does include PHP stand, PHP code sniffer, PHP compatibility, if you wanted to check and see if your application complies with a certain version of PHP. Um, you can also run PHP lock, PHP mess detector, P, P depends, PHP copy paste detector, PHP unit, PHP CS fixer. You know, there's a lot of things inside this, this image. So enjoy it. I hope you get a lot of use out of it. Uh, currently, this has about 10,000 users and it is available on GitHub. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could just copy and paste this command, make any changes I might need to to the command to compensate for my current working directory. Another thing that you'll notice I, I did here is I've also included a command if you need to change the memory limit of your PHP. You can do that by uh, adding the hyphen D and give it the memory limit, uh, a, a bigger memory limit within the commands. So if you needed to do that, now the end result is gonna be exactly the same like we've already seen, so I'm not gonna run this command, but if I were to run this command, then I, I wouldn't have needed to install PHP stand in my current working directory. I could just use it straight from within Docker. So there you go, there are the basics of PHP stand. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, please consider giving a like to the video. Hit that thumbs up button so other people can also find this. It really helps in the search engine results. Also, if you've already used PHP Stand, or if you haven't used PHP Stand, but now you're going to give it a try, leave a comment down below and let me know. If you know of any other code analysis tools that you might use with PHP, please leave those down there in the comments as well. I look forward to seeing your responses so that way I can po possibly find other tools to use in my stack. Now YouTube is going to put up some recommended videos here around me, so please give those a try. I have some other videos related to code quality, static analysis, and also technical debt. So check those out while you're here. And above all, be good to yourself and others, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.